when I look out into the world as, as an observer, I see all kinds of shit just happening. Without my control, it would be absurd to think that I'm in control. At the same time, when I observe my thoughts, they're just phenomenons too. Naturally occurring. See, when you're asleep at night, like, all the images you, you see arise on its own. Right? Like, likewise, in real life, like the solidity of the, a body, all beliefs and thoughts, they're all just spacesuits that you put on to interact with other human beings so you can have a human experience. And Sam Harris wrote a book and saying that free will is an illusion. When I first read it, I had no idea what he was talking about. But then during the interview, he said that um, you really have to learn how to meditate to, to sort of understand it viscerally. And I kind of know what he's talking about now because once you start to, uh, to access that higher perspective of, of non-duality, that, that dimension that you are in when you become the awareness around the thought, the witness and the watcher over your thoughts, rather than the, it being inside your thought, that you come to realize that the thoughts just happen you know, without anybody's control. You know, they arise one after another, and I guess the most you can say about it is that a thought is predetermined by the previous thought and ad infinite. And, and all our actions are embedded within and determined by thoughts, which again, we have no control over. And we, we don't know where they come from. You have no idea what your next thought is going to be and what you're going to do with it. You know, they, they just spontaneously arise out of nowhere. You know, asking where thoughts come from is the same as asking what the universe is like before the Big Bang. Why is there uh, something rather than nothing? You know, maybe things just happen all by themselves. You know, the sun just arise, rises, you know, the, the, the wind just blows. And in the same stroke of breath or the same force of nature that governs the, the river or the, the flow of life that's, that started in the moment of Big Bang. You know, the, and all your thoughts and your feelings are part of this interconnected river. The feeling of, oh, this is me, I'm doing this, it's just one level. It, it can certainly feel like you're in control. Like when I raise my arm, it feels like I'm the one doing it. But reality is multifaceted. You know, there's different levels operating simultaneously. And, and the human experience that's governed by the I amness, the feeling of oh, this is me, I'm doing this, it's just one level. You know, even the thought I am in control, there's just another thought that arises again out of the void. More, more or less like a layover that the ego fabricated to sustain its own sense of importance and even existence. You know, any thought that starts with an I, you know, I am Frank Yang, this is mine, is really no different from the thought that is a unicorn or I am Justin Bieber. You know, but there's an emotional charge to any thought that has a label I in it because we've brought up by this condition idea that any thoughts with an eye is somehow more important but is it you know if you're really honest with self-inquiry look really look inward you see that there really is no thinker behind any of your thoughts because you're, another way to put it is that your thoughts are the thinker. That there's no core entity, a solid entity that most people presupposes that just pumps up thoughts, right? Even the thought there's a core entity again is just another thought, substantially no different, and no more or less important and real than 
any thought that arises through consciousness. So maybe the universe is just this gigantic frozen iceberg. The what is, the, the, the stillness, the hardness of what is. You know, if you relax into this space, that's the feeling we associate with peace, isn't it? And, and, and within the, that space, there's simply no room for concepts like could haves, should haves, and would haves to arise. And, and if you align yourself and, and weave seamlessly into this what is in a continuous indivisible whole then really nothing can ever go wrong there, there, there's never been a mistake because the universe does not and cannot know how to make a mistake and everything in your life has always been and is perfect and there's no need to get mad 